120 miles per hour. Puts it into fourth. Welcome everybody, and today we are going to be driving the V10 swapped Dacia Logan from the famous 24 hours of Nordschleife, and we'll be taking it around the Nordschleife track as well, but let's just have a little listen to what the V10 swap will sound like. All right, well, let's take it for a spin. Let's put it into first gear and hope for survival. It's not kicking in yet, but... Bosh! The V10 power rushing through the Dacia Logan. And it does not want to steer at all, the front wheel drive car. As we start our lap now, first part of this lap around the GP circuit. As we try and break for the first corner, obviously not modifying the brakes at all and maybe that is a mistake because i'm not sure this car ever thought it was gonna have a v10 engine in it so either the brakes are gonna fail on me in the middle of the lap which is uh not great when you're trying to do 100 and something miles per hour in the twisty corners of the green hell just not gonna break which is um, which is what I think is gonna be happening here and I, and I have to be breaking way earlier a little bit of a drift coming through this corner car is definitely very unstable under brakes but as we now head through the Schumacher S's gonna have to let go quite a bit so we don't do a Lewis Hamilton and fly off into the barriers We're just gonna approach the end of the GP circuit part and head into the real, the real part of the circuit, the green hell, the part we're all eager to see. The original horsepower of this car, about a hundred horsepowers. This Ferrari F1 engine from 2004. About 700 to 800 horsepower, so um, about eight times more power in the Dacia Logan. But this power does not mean it's going to be quick around here at all. But if you do want to try and hot lap it, I think I'll put the mod uh, link in the description. So yeah, if you do want to hot lap it, and you do successfully make it around this 24 kilometer track then do send us a video in the discord and we'll be sure to upload it as well because i'd love to see an, an actually quick person try this car around this circuit so as we now try and Go. Oh no, that was not a good idea. Okay, get out the grass. Get out the grass. Okay. Having to break through this left king because we now head to another heavy braking zone, at least for the Dacia Logan and the V10. through the part where it's usually full throttle and in very sketchy full throttle through here right now gonna have to break right here because the corner coming up is very very slow especially when you do not have any aerodynamics As you can see a pretty tight corner here mounting the curb and out out Acceleration, no traction. I mean, sometimes I feel like pressing the brakes is useless on this car. And I think mostly where the braking is coming from is the, the engine braking. Because the V10 is a thing that's actually pretty famous for the engine braking. 
but that's only when you switch gears and currently I'm pretty much stuck in second gear because if I go any higher I fear of dying and if I go any lower I feel of exploding the engine so thank god there is quite a lot of run up here so again Ooh, the twisty parts are and I think this is the part where you try and let out as much of the engine power and actually not revving it out enough in third gear, putting it into fourth a bit too early. And now we might be able to show what this station look and it's really made out of but it does not want to turn hundred and sixty miles per hour well hundred and fifty five probably there but I fear that we're gonna go straight off into the grass here if I do not break very close even taking some of the runoff now into the heavy braking zone. And up to the carousel. Probably gonna have to slow down quite a bit here in order to make it work. Oh, she... Wow, actually... Going out pretty nice out of the carousel. Did not think we were going to be going through that quite well. Now I'm sure there is some crazy real life car YouTuber that would actually put this a, a, a V10 engine or some sort of V12 from a Ferrari. It doesn't have to be a Formula 1 car obviously. But I fear that if people put V8s and V10s into Miatas, then the Dacia Logan might be next, especially after its sensation at the um, 24 hour of Nürburgring or Nordschleife. And it might be a fun project, to be fair. And maybe then take it to the 24 hours of Nordschleife as well. As we, oh, not even, not even close to making that corner. But I think the real place where we all want to see it be tested is the massive straight on the Nordschleife, which is actually pretty soon. I have to give it to the Dacia Logan. Actually steering pretty well. And the person who made this mod originally. Very well done to them because I am quite enjoying this even though I lack all the traction right now and I'm absolutely scared that any moment that I press the brake or the gas that I will be sent off into the Shadow Realm. But as we pass through the second carousel, we just have a couple more corners to go before we get on to the main big straight. And here it is, coming right up as we're going to try and accelerate as much as we can. Having to rev it out so much in second gear, up into third. This is where we're gonna pretty much stay. Coming out to 220 miles per hour, puts it into fourth. 225 before we do have to sadly break. Two hundred and twenty-five miles per hour in a Dacia Logan. On the Nordschleife, but the lap is not done yet. 
as we still have to do the run to the line. Smoke from the tyres. But if you did enjoy this video, then do drop us a like and a follow on all our social media. Link in the description. And if you have any other ideas for what wacky cars we should drive, and what wacky setups we should try, then do comment down below. But otherwise, it's been a pleasure, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Adios.